Hello everyone. Welcome to Manju to do's English class for standard 4 and 5. In the last session, we learned about phonetics. We saw how vowels and consonants sound. Today, we are going to learn the usage of do, does and did. Now let us see how do is used in sentences. Now if you see here, you can see on the screen, I, you, we, they, do. So with I, you, we and they, we use do. And negative form of do is do not. So do here is something related to doing things. That is play, eat, jump, laugh. I play, I eat, I jump, I laugh. In the same way, you, we, we do not play, we do not eat, we do not jump, we do not laugh. They play, they eat like this. So when we have to use do or do not, whose short form is don't, we should use I, you, we, and they. Now, how to make questions using do? Let's see. Now, if you want to frame a sentence, if you want to frame an interrogative sentence, if you want to ask a question, this is the way you should use. Do I want this book? Do we play chess? Do you eat apples? Do they sing sweetly? So these all are questions. So when you have to frame a question, do should be in the beginning, which itself gives a sense that it is an interrogative sentence. Do I, do we, do you, do they? You cannot use does here. That will be wrong. Now see does. How to use does? Now if you see on the screen, he, she, it, and two names are given, Daniel and David. So he does. If you use he do, it is wrong. She does, it does, Daniel does, David does or doesn't. So he plays, he eats. So when you use he, she, it or any name, the verb used should have S. You can't say he play, he do, no. He does or he plays. So this is the concept here. So when you have to use does, he, she, it, or any name, then you can use does. Now how to frame sentence using does? Now look at on the screen. Does he want this book? Now something very interesting is when you use does, the verb should not have s. Now in this sentence, he want this book. If you read this sentence separate without using does, then this sentence is wrong. Because along with he, this verb should have s. Since we are using does over here, so does he want, because here already one s is there. So you cannot use s here. 
that is the logic so does he want this book that means you are asking a question now without using does if you want to read a sentence like this if it is then it will not be an interrogative sentence it will be a normal statement then it will be he wants this book she plays chess because along with he she it or any name the verb should have s now here does is used so verb should leave s s should go does she play chess does it work well does daniel sing sweetly does david sing sweetly now if you want to frame this sentence if you want to frame this sentence using daniel then it will be daniel sings sweetly one person verb should have s so it's singular so in this way does is used to frame questions now coming to did now did is basically used for past tense the event which has already happened now did is a word which goes with all or you can say that it is very friendly it has no choices now did is comfortable with all with i also with you also we they he she it or any name so i did i did not same is the case with all other subjects you did now since this is past tense the verb will change it will become i played like this i ate with did but when you use did this will be present tense i did not play if you say i did not i did not played it is wrong i did not play with did the verb should be in present tense i did not ate wrong i did not eat so in this way did is used now let's see how to frame question using did as i told you earlier that did goes with all so when you frame a sentence did will be in the beginning did did i laugh did you eat as i told you if you use did the verb should be in present tense you can't use past tense it will be wrong so did i laugh did you eat did we go did they cry did she sing did it work did daniel laugh did david laugh so in this way we use did to frame question so the usage of do and does is very important all the time we require these words in our sentences now let us see some examples i don't have sisters i don't never ever use i doesn't have sisters that is wrong mary doesn't with singular person does he does doesn't mary doesn't have a dog peter and betty don't have a house two people don't so in this way we use do does and did now let me show you some examples we will see some examples on the screen let us take some sentences to clarify the things um i'll take one statement now we are using do does and did 
Let's see some examples. If I write dash you know her, this is an interrogative sentence. So here you have to use either do, does or did, which will go with this uh, sentence. Yes, do. Do you know her? Do you know her? Now, one more question I am giving you. Where What should be the answer here? Yes? Yes? Where does she live? Now, one more. Where now? What will be the answer? Just try. Do, does, or did. Now see here what is here. What did you learn right now? Yes. Where do they live? Where do they? live so in this way when you frame sentences you will get to know that how to use do did and does i'll give you one more sentence i dash know him Yes, here you can use I do not or I don't know him. Yes, let us take one more example. Dash, she, say, anything about me or this is something which has already happened earlier the person is asking what has happened dash she say anything about me that means it is already done so it will be yes yes did she say anything about me did she say anything about me? Yes, exactly. So in this way, we use do, does, and did. I hope you understood the concept. Uh, so in a nutshell, we can say that when you use do, you have to be very careful with the subject. You have to check. I, we, they, you have to check. When you use does, be very careful about it that it goes with singular number that is he she it he does he she does so in this way it goes and did basically it is used for yes past tense it is used for past tense so when you frame a sentence at the time of framing sentence this do does and did you have to use very carefully and it should be in the beginning of the sentence. When you start the sentence, when you start an interrogative sentence, that means when you frame a question, at that time, you must use do, does, did in the beginning. That's why if you see here, now this is an, wherever there is an interrogative sentence, you just see this sentence, do you know her? Now, if you say, does you know her? It is wrong because with you, we have to use do got it in the same way now here when you see here again it is a question but here the question starts with where so what you have to do 
you have to check this one she this is the main subject right now so with she it should be yes does so where does she live like this so in this way you have to frame sentences where do they where does they if you write it is wrong it is incorrect where do they live they so here also when you see the sentence starts with the where so it should be do how to know that it should be do just check this one so here this is the subject it talks about they means many people are there so with many it should be do with single it should be does or doesn't do or don't with many now here if you see i i is an exceptional case i though it is singular but it doesn't follow the rule you can't say i does not know only in case of i you have to use do or do not i does not wrong in the same way now here also if you see the sentence starts with the did did she say did she say so here it is she so in this way you practice then you will get to know how to use do does and did hope you enjoyed the session have a wonderful wonderful day ahead thank you